Vanessa and Yuka, congratulations on your fantastic play this week. Thank you. The protocol for the playoff is a two-hole aggregate. Holes 9 and 18 will be played. If there is still a tie after the 18th hole, it's sudden death of holes 9 and 18 until a winner is determined. Best of luck to both of you. NASA has the honor. Okay. Play away, please. Thank you. So back in Tokyo right now at 7.51 Monday morning. And Morgan, you played extensively in Asia and Japan. And, uh, you would suspect there'd be a big audience even early in the morning on Monday. Absolutely. It's actually kind of funny. NASA told me one time that she came to watch a tournament that I played in Japan. She asked me for my autograph. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. So and think about all the young girls that she's inspiring in her home country. They both are. I like that. Yeah. It's like a, I'll show you here in a second. It's also like a light green circle. I think so. Yeah, once it starts going that way, and then have a little bit of All right. We don't see this whole location very often. This uh, this one is reserved for big events. Everything is pulling down to her left. Good putt. She'll tap the court, and Sasa will have a putt to win the U.S. Women's Open. Sasso. Her caddy, by the way, Lionel Matichuk, caddy from the great U.S. Open champion Hollis Stacy. Hollis texted me and said, Lionel's a tremendous asset for a young player like Sasso. Consensus read amongst the members here, Rich. Morgan turning a little left, a touch. This is one of those greens, Jerry, that's fooled some of the players this week. It almost breaks uphill towards the clubhouse at the very end. This to win. bit of nerves there maybe in that putt. She putted it not that long ago. She knew that it was going to be quick. What do you think, Jerry? Yeah, I mean, her touch has been pretty darn good all week long. Today she struggled with getting the putts to the hole. That one was going to give it a run, but she didn't mean to do that. This one coming back now should be awfully, awfully straight, but a true test of nerves. This to extend the playoff. Really, really solid stroke. Just 
jammed it in. No nerves on that one. 19 year old. Step up. Take you out to the ninth tee as the playoff continues, and it is Nasa Hataoka. And I'm sure her intention is to make sure this drive gets down the right center. In the uh, first playoff hole, she knocked it in the left rough. This one's down the right. Oh, and this is a beauty. It's good. Yeah, fairway. Slopes from right to left. You're going to pitch it up on the right side. It'll feed down into the middle. That's exactly what she's done. Yuka Sasa had a big drive down here in that first playoff hole. And she's going to try and do exactly the same, Jerry. Yeah, it's one of the best of the week on the first playoff hole. But you effectively have half a fairway to hit out here. And that's just the right half of this dog leg, right? Breeze very light at the moment. This one's left of that initial line. Has to get lucky to stay in the fairway. Yeah, just gonna oh, finish up in the rough. Well, this is sudden death play now. And if somebody wins uh, the hole, that's it. It is over. The championship is theirs. Nasa Hataoka against Yuka Sasso. And the 76th U.S. Women's Open. Time for a little snack. No way, chatting away to the camera guy. But this has been a tremendous venue. The first time that the U.S. Women's Open has been played at Olympic Club. And so much preparation going into the championship. Obviously, question marks about whether we were going to have fans and how it was going to work logistically. But it has all come together and they managed to uh, have people here and uh, outside the ropes. And it's added to this great spectacle of women's golf. And we uh, should give a nod to our crew who've worked tirelessly this week, led by Beth Hutter, the first uh, woman to produce uh, the television coverage of the U.S. Women's Open, alongside director Joe Martin. And they've uh, done a wonderful job leading the team. And it's not over yet. Thomas really has been just such an incredible venue for the U.S. Women's Open. Hopefully the first but not the last time the ladies get to see the Olympic Club. It's been a treat all week. The players have raved about it. Uh, I was talking to a few caddies on the putting green today, raving about the setup, the fairness of the golf course. The, the penalties are there when you make a mistake but it's we've seen it this week you can make birdies if you hit good shots it's definitely been scorable and then shannon real yard john bodenhammer jeff hall Farron brevard of the usga did an excellent job in the setup it's great to see the setup also similar to the u.s open in 2012 similar hole locations Seventh drivable on the same day on Saturday. That's the lowest winning score of now the six U.S. Opens that have been played here, and only the second with an under par champion. Scott Simpson was three under in 1987. But you feel as though they got it right. That this was the right sort of scoring, and uh, you know, hats off to everybody who. You put uh, all the hours in. There's so much work that goes in behind the scenes to set the golf course up, to figure out the whole locations. And I think uh, it really has paid off dividends. But look at Yuka Sasso here, who I would think will be first to go. She is by three yards okay. with a good lie, ah. relatively speaking. Ah. But it's only a short shot though, Jerry. Yeah, 109. It's very doable. Obviously front edge of best on the fly. And if you've been watching our coverage this week at this ninth hole, you'll know it moves right to left up on that green. And there's a little upslope at the beginning of the, the fringe, the apron to that green. The players have pitched it in there to get it to slow down a little bit. She had some incredible wedges yesterday out of similar lies. She had a few today that were very nice as well, full iron shots. But this one's big. Oh, 
got some stop on it out of the rough. What a shot. What an incredible shot there on a very similar line to the putt she had the first time around in this playoff. She's been a magician getting it out of the rough all week. Comes down so steep on that one with her wedge to gouge it out. Another really impressive shot there. Now Nasa. 106 yards to the hole. This is a sand wedge. Needs a good one, Kay. Yep. Needs to get up. And it's going to spin away. Yeah, that was not what she was looking for. That's going to be a pretty challenging two putt. Advantage, Yukasasa. Massive opportunity here to potentially break through and win. And everything that comes with that, obviously a USGA championship, but also the opportunity to become a member of the LPGA Tour and to play on the biggest women's tour full time. She's not a member yet. And this is a huge moment for her, 19 years of age. Modeled her golf swing on Rory McElroy. Watched videos of Rory's swing. Even uh, as recent as the Masters, she spent an hour just studying his golf swing videos online. And Rory sending out a message uh, recognizing that on social media this weekend. And she hopes to meet Rory later this summer. Never had the opportunity to meet him. I think that opportunity might present itself pretty soon. Tom, you know what I think is impressive is a lot of us try to model our swings after top players, but rarely do they look that similar. Yes, you always think you might have the tempo of Fred Couples or the swing of uh, Rory McIlroy or a so young use a rhythm, but uh, doesn't quite work out like that. Now, Nasa Hataoka going to work on this putt. She and Greg really work well together. She relies on him for his input, but ultimately she sees it, feels it, executes it. But he was reminding her that they had a similar putt on a similar line earlier today, one that she made for Birdie, although this probably almost doubled the distance away. Yeah, we saw that putt a little earlier, Kay. It was almost the exact same putt that Yuka Sasso had in uh, the first playoff hole. Uphill at the early stage of this putt? Yeah, uphill the entire way, and it moves right to left, starts moving more right to left as it gets closer to the hole. Low percentage chance of making this. I think she's got to ensure that she gets it up close force your opponent to do something. Just going to run out of speed. You would think it'll be a four major championship pressure. As, uh, strange things to people's games. As we saw from Lexi Thompson on the way in. You're just joining us. This is a playoff for the 76th U.S. Women's Open. Yuka Sasso against Nasa Hataoka. Lexi Thompson had a putt on the 18th to get into the playoff. Did not make it. Bit of mm. disappointment for, for Lexi, but we have a chance here for a champion. Yeah, and it's her third chance with the putt to win. Same line she had earlier, much shorter putt. She overread it the first time. Turns left, but not a ton. Yeah, the fact that she's had a, a similar putt, Jerry, she knows exactly what this is going to do. Great opportunity here for Yuka Sasso. And she makes it. 
And Yuka Sasso is the US Women's Open champion, a new star in the women's game. A birdie to win, doing it in style. How about that, Morgan? <laughs> what a fight. What, what a performance from her this week. What a comeback today, especially after getting off to a tough start. Two doubles early. I mean, perseverance was key. And that was a great stroke. Definitely learned from playing it in the first playoff hole.